stay in your lane. The Ball Brothers by far are one of the most talked about high school players of all time. Most of the hype came because LeVar Ball was letting his voice be heard and boasting about how his boys were just the top players in the nation. But unlike most players that receive a lot of unnecessary attention, they were actually backing up all the hype. During the time when all three of them played for Chino Hills, it was just something that we've never seen before. They were three brothers playing on the same team, but they were dominating everybody that they played against. That's when Lonzo really made his mark and he went on to play at UCLA and y'all know how the rest of that story turned out. And on the other hand, LaMelo really developed his game even more since then, and he's now playing overseas. And they saying that he might be a top draft pick in the 2020 NBA draft. We just gonna have to wait and see on that one. But anyways, Lonzo and LaMelo Ball playstyle is almost identical for the most part. And during their senior years in high school, they were both unstoppable, averaging a triple-double. So what I want to do with this video is basically try to compare the two so that we can be able to determine who was the better player. We can't really compare stats because, again, they both averaged a triple-double. So we have to dig deeper into it and compare things that's not in the stat book. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But before we get into this video, y'all already know I gotta shout out somebody as usual. So I wanna give a quick shout out to my guy Cello Dope. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this guy really showed me everything that I know about YouTube. He gave me the blueprint back when I had zero subscribers, so basically if it wasn't for Cello Dope, there wouldn't be a chosen one. So help me return the favor, go subscribe to him right now. He be doing all type of content like gaming, reaction videos, and he can hoop a little bit too, so we might have some basketball IRLs for y'all in the future. I'm gonna leave the link to his channel down in the description. But enough of all that talk, let's get into this video. Again, we already know that they had similar stats. But something that's never really talked about is the amount of pressure that they both had to go through. When the Ball Brothers first started blowing up, Lonzo had all the eyes on him. Let's get this straight, nobody was messing with Lonzo Ball in high school, and he dominated in college too for the most part. But when he got to college, his name was in the media mostly every day. And the crazy thing is that it wasn't even for what he was doing on the basketball court. It was mostly just what his father was saying. LeVar Ball was putting so much pressure on him by saying all type of wild stuff like how he felt Lonzo Ball was better than Steph Curry even though he was still in college at the time. What made you say that one day Lonzo is going to be better than Steph Curry in Golden State? Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, he better than Steph Curry to me. Here, put Steph Curry on UCLA's team right now and put my boy on Golden State and watch what happens. This really had a lot of people hating Lonzo, and by the time he got to the NBA, you can say that he had a target on his back. He had to match up with that dog Patrick Beverly for his first NBA game, and let's just say he had to welcome him to the league. If y'all saw the game, you know what I'm talking about. But as I compare that to where he is now, that's nowhere near the pressure LaMelo had to face in high school. After Lonzo graduated from Chino Hills, LaMelo really became the face of the team, even though he was the youngest. He had so many high school players trying to go after him, and sometimes it would get out of hand. And also, he wasn't even able to live like a regular teenager. The fact that he was getting so much media attention and that so many players were out for his spot really made it impossible. It got to the point where he had to go play basketball overseas as a junior in high school. I can't even imagine that bro, having to leave your friends, your family, I don't even think he was able to go on prom. And to make things even worse, it's not like he had that much privacy over there anyways because we still knew what was going on. So considering the fact that he had to deal with all this at a young age and he still performed great really means something. I gotta give it to LaMelo on this one. He definitely has the ability to handle pressure better than Lonzo. He is really built for the NBA, and if he can make it there, I can really see him doing some damage, for real. I mean, he's already used to life on the road, and he already shown that he's able to perform under pressure. Another key thing that I want to compare between the two is the type of teams that they were on. They both had great teammates that senior years. LaMelo had Rocket Watts and a whole bunch of elite hoopers, and Lonzo had his brothers. If you have good teammates, it can really determine how effective your performance can be as well. But I'm going to say that Lonzo was better in this aspect, and here's why. When LaMelo was playing his senior year at Spire Academy, it was much easier for him to perform. Spire Academy is a school built around sports, so some of the top players in the nation transfer to that school every year so that they can work in their game some more. LaMelo didn't really have to carry them in a sense. Things were much different for Lonzo. Not saying that he was carrying Chino Hills because he had some pretty good teammates, but I'll say that the way that he approached the game really helped his teammates play better. And you could tell because when he graduated from Chino Hills, the team's playstyle had to change completely. They couldn't rely on Lonzo to set his teammates up anymore. 
and even though they still almost went undefeated, you could tell it was much harder for them to win games. It was a lot of close ones, but with Lonzo, they were just blowing teams out. So really, if you want to determine who's the best, it really just comes down to personal preference in my opinion. I'm going with Lonzo being the better player, just for the simple fact that he started all this. If it wasn't for Lonzo, we wouldn't even be talking about LaMelo, really. He gave him the blueprint of success, whether you want to accept that or not. Let me know which one y'all think is the better player down in the comment section. Peace. Said I'm the best, yeah, I meant that, little nigga. A hundred cash, yeah, I spent that, little nigga. Keep talking, get your shit sent back, little nigga. Landlord in these streets, where your rent at, little nigga, yeah. Stepped in the game, things change. I tried no basic, now nah, all these bitches know my name. I felt I was the best, shit right now I feel the same. Bitch, I'm in this for the riches, give a fuck about the fame. If it ain't about a dollar, I don't want it. Got a problem, then I'm on it. They hate it, but I made it. It, bet that make them mad, don't it? Huh? And they ain't alone. Other niggas hate it too, but that just made me great. Fuck the weight. Here go no basic too.